in the past few weeks we have facilitated the official launch of county governments as, signify, as signified by the swearing in of the members of the county assemblies as well as speakers and governors and their deputies. The transition authority is also fully operational and is committed to providing the necessary co coordination support during this transition period. However, what has happened so far is only the beginning and it is now the responsibility of the county governments to establish effective and efficient systems for county level governance and service delivery. As the governors, county assemblies and other institutions in the country get down to work, I call upon all Kenyans to render the necessary support to them. And I say to seize, well, I don't say, I, I, let me not say to seize the disputes which I have heard so much. But anyway, let me, let me not go into that one. I, I don't want to get into that one for the reason I would have to say it is total nonsense. <laughs> really, strictly speaking, the government we want is effective government. Government we want must be effective government. And that government must satisfy the ordinary Mwanaichi who wants to plant his potatoes there, wants to, to keep his cattle there, that this is, these are the choices where we are going to look. And as I said, I, I, I congratulate uh, my friend here who has just been speaking and because he did say quite a few good things. Thank you very much. Asante, sir. <laughs> As the governors, county assemblies, and other institutions in the, in the counties get down to work, I call upon all Kenyans to render the necessary support to them. As we do so, we should need, we should keep in mind that despite the devolution of political power and resources, Kenya remains a single unitary state. May I repeat, we remain a single unitary state. And that is a constitution of Kenya. And that is a constitution of the Republic of Kenya. It can be said 10 times for the reason that, in fact, some people have got it wrong in their head that what they are looking for is something which is not what is written in this Constitution of Kenya. And it is not what they are looking for. And I know they will create a dispute and we shall have to answer to them. And more remarkable, the only way to answer to them is to tell them, look, we cannot do what you are saying for the reason that would be a different constitution of, for Kenya. And that constitution has not been approved. <laughs> the constitution we have approved is this one. And let us keep quoting it. Let us keep quoting it not to take what we feel to be in our mind, 
Let us keep quoting the Katiba itself. As the governors, county assemblies, and other institutions in the countries get down to work, I call upon all Kenyans to render the necessary support to them. As we do so, we should keep in mind that despite the devolution of political power and resources, Kenya remains a single unitary state. A single unitary state. To this end, one of the objectives of devolution of government as laid out in our constitution is to foster national unity by recognizing our diversity. It is my hope that devolution will lead to a united and prosperous Kenya. So ladies and gentlemen, counties are the new centers of economic growth in Kenya, and they will be crucial in the achievement of our vision 2030. Devolution should support increased infrastructure development across the country and ensure that every county has an equal chance to develop the new dispensation is also expected to spur increased investment in the micro, small, and medium-sized sector, which is the backbone of our economy and the sector with the highest growth potential. In this regard, I call upon our county governments to identify and exploit resources that will generate economic growth and create employment for our young people and create employment for our young people. That is the first objective, to create greater employment for the young people. It's the only way the young people will think you've been elected to some position for some purpose. Otherwise, I mean, what the hell are you elected? <laughs> no, only query. I mean, what, why are you elected? Is to promote employment of our young people. And they are the large number now in the country as a whole. And you better actually understand those statistics. And I think you should read more statistics and have, have it clear in your mind. <laughs> Thank you. In this regard, I call upon county governments to identify and exploit resources that will generate economic growth and create employment for our young people. So ladies and gentlemen, the Constitution lays out clearly the roles to be carried out by the national government. As a result, the National Government Coordination Act of 2013 has established the structures, modalities for the coordination of national government services across the country. This law has established a new system through which the national government will coordinate service delivery for the functions assigned to it 
by the Constitution. Can I say there is a specific function assigned to the in the Constitution to the central government and it's a unitary state. I therefore appeal for strong linkages and mutual trust between national government of officers at county level and officers of the county governments. Will you work together? We are in only one state and I don't want the quarrel I hear nowadays because we are, you are quarreling as if we have, you belong to different states but we, have, we belong to one state. The, let us remember that our ultimate objective is to serve the people of Kenya to improve their economic and social welfare. As I conclude my remarks, let me once again express my best wishes as you settle down in your duties. You have been elected because of the special qualities that the people saw in you. Please never lose sight of that fact. You are in leadership to serve the people and better their lives. Let not the trappings of power overwhelm you. You only have a limited time to serve the people. My question to you is just one. What will the people remember you for and what mark and impact will your, you live in improving the lives of the people you serve. Finally, as our county governments take up their responsibilities, I wish them all the best in their endeavors. It is now my pleasure to officially open this induction program, program Asante Namungu Awabariki. As I, as I say, Mungu Azid Kuabariki, I want to repeat that uh, I will be uh, here for a few more weeks and then I will retire you have the chairman, the commission, the vice chairman, everybody else, they are all going to be here and we are going to be implementing this constitution together. Let us understand it. Let us not spend time disputing petty stuff about what, 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 what powers uh, what you have and the other fellow has or what doesn't have anything. Let us try and implement what is written in the Constitution. Not what you would like to see, but what is written there. Asante Sana. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. We appreciate your wisdom. We also appreciate your presence and continue to stay with us. Your Excellency, in view of the importance of this occasion that has now put in place the two levels of government, 
we seek your indulgence to have a photo session where groups of these ladies and gentlemen would have a photo with you as a commemoration of what you have done to implement the devolution of political power and resources in Kenya. So with your permission, I would request that we walk to the, to the photo session site for that activity. Thank you, sir.